hello everyone and welcome back to wipe knowledge and in this video i am going to show you how to register cisco cp78 series ip phone on yestar pbx by auto provisioning option in the yestar pbx so first of all what we have to do we have to enable dscp server in yestar pbx so my ESTAR PBX IP address is 192.168.5.150 which is by default IP address and to enable the DHCP option we have to navigate settings option and then security option and now click on service option and here we have to enable DHCP server as we enable DSCP server, so we have TFTP server enabled here, and this TFTP server will be work as a auto provisioning server for Cisco phones to get the file from TFTP of Yestra PBX. So we have enabled and we are saving it. Now DSCP is running in the PBX and TFTP server is enabled. So in auto provisioning PBX will act as a TFTP server and we will upload XML file of Cisco phone in the PBX auto provisioning option. So as we have enabled DSCP server, so we have TFTP IP address of PBX. Now we are going back to the PBX option and we have created two extensions here so we i have created one extension for ip phone and the second for linkus application for showing the calls between ip phone and linkus so i have created extension with the password as you can see here so we will put same details in a xml file so i have created one xml file of the ip phone so it's my own scp mac address.cnf.xml file and i put a uh, ntp server ip address and the main part is call manager option here i put pbx ip address 192.165.150 as you can see here then here in the phone label option i given extension number 1000 and in the feature label option 1000 or you can give here any name for a user and then proxy option it ip address of uh, yester pbx and the sip port is 5060 which is by default sip port and given the name as extension number and display name as user1 post then i given authentication name as 1000 and the password admin at 1234 which we have set in the pbx and in the extension sip ix password so you can see here the password i put the same and the rest of the setting will be same so i have XML file ready. So I'll put the same file in auto provisioning option. So here in the auto provisioning option, click on upload files and click again upload file. Now select your MAC address CNF file of the Cisco phone. I select the file and upload and again uploading dial plan file as well here 
and upload so we have uploaded mac address file for uh, cisco 78 series phone and the dial plan file here we have created extensions here and we have enabled uh, dscp service in the service option and it's our pftp path so i'll set this path in the cisco phone so that the phone will get a file from the pbx and it will be registered so now i show you ip phone interface so i have cisco cp78 series ip phone and to set the tftp path i am clicking on setting key and going down in the admin setting option and select the first option network setup select first option again ipv4 setup and go down now select alternate tftp and select yes option and go back now select tftp server 1 and type the ip address of yes star pbx ip address 192.168.5.150 now click or press on validate option and press again apply and go back and now restart your IP phone So it takes some time in booting and then it will request JSTAR PBX for the XML file and then it will register on the PBX. So let's wait for uh, it to get the IP address and provision through the PBX. So now it is going into the registration progress. And now you can see uh, it has taken extension 100 and we can make the call on Linkus application. I made the call and you can see here the call is coming and now we can communicate. So same way we can make call from here link us and you can see here the call is coming on here on the IP phone and we can talk IP phone interface so here in this process we have registered Cisco phone successfully to the auto provisioning option of Jstar PBX so let me refresh quickly what we have done so we have created two extensions 1000 and 1001 and we have set this extension 1000 on uh, yes uh, Cisco IP phone and for that I have created a XML file with the MAC address of IP phone and I set extension number password and IP address of the PBX in the particular fields Suppose then we have enabled uh, DSCP services in the PBX through which we have enabled TFTP server in the Yester PBX and then we put auto provisioning option and upload the file of Cisco phone and that's all uh, phone is registered and we are able to make communication between uh, extensions thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and hit the like button if you like this video thank you